Melissa Benoist, Calista Flocker, and Makai Brown. dressed up as Supergirl uh, for Halloween. So, uh, <laughs> Melissa, let's start with you. What did you do for Halloween? I was so boring. No. I, <laughs> I stayed at home, and I was in, like, a flannel and baggy jeans, and I watched Shaun of the Dead with my friends. That's and fun. It was so fun. Yeah. A lot of candy. Yeah. So, <laughs> Melissa, what did, what did you wear for Halloween? I wore, um... Sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> and we watched Anthony Bourdain. Okay. <laughs> Nobody so came to our house. Oh, no. So we ate all the candy. Oh, oh, yeah. I love that. Okay. Love Todd, that. what did you do? Uh, I was lazy. Um, I, I think you all... Were you, you... naked in the <laughs> Why did you just say that in the first place? <laughs> no, um, I was, I was trying to be subtle. <laughs> I was naked, and, and then I put clothes on, and then I wasn't naked anymore. Um, no, I, I dressed up like a, like a Native American because uh, uh, it's easy. Indigenous mm -hmm. people? The indigenous people of mm -hmm. the Americas, mm -hmm. correct. Did you, did you trick or treat? No. You just did that in your house? I just ate candy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's as important as your diet. It's boring. <laughs> the same thing yeah, here. Mm. Yeah. So, Melissa, speaking of dressing up, your um, Supergirl costume, mm -hmm. okay, gives you confidence to sure. be a hero, okay? Now, um, I hear that when you, you first dressed up in it, you were wearing it rather a lot. You got used to it. Yeah, <laughs> I've definitely gotten used to it. I'm in it more than I am in regular clothes, I'd say now. <laughs> so I didn't have to dress up for Halloween, actually. <laughs> Yeah, you, you had it. <laughs> and I heard that you went to a table reading dressed in the Super oh, Bowl. I did. Oh. But this oh. is what, the was, day, what was the deal here? This was the day after our premiere, oh. and it was such a huge success for us that I... I was shooting a scene as Supergirl right before I went there, and I was like, oh, it's only fitting. Like, I feel like I should go kind of a celebratory yeah. thing. <laughs> 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 Take on and off. It is. It, it does a lot take a while to take on is. and off, so maybe it was a time consuming. <laughs> right. Now, Calista, this is not your first time on a hit show. You obviously became a superstar on Ally McBeal. <laughs> right. I heard that you almost didn't take the role. I don't think it was that I almost didn't take it. What happened actually is my agent passed on the audition without really discussing it with me. Oh. Ooh. Why would you ah. do that? Right. Well, it was, it was oh. a natural, it was, oh, I'm, I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> Are you still with the agent? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but you were doing theater, right? That I was, was doing good. a play. I was doing theater, yes. And mm -hmm. um, I guess it just didn't really, he didn't really think that it, that I, I guess, I don't know. So how, how did, did it come across about this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then how did it come across your desk ultimately? Well, then it, they kept coming back. So, oh, wow. yeah, it was nice. It was lucky. Oh, that's meant to be. <laughs> don't fight it. It was meant to be. Now, Makad, um, how do I say this? Previous Jimmy Olsen's were kind of on the nerdy side. I'm a nerd. No, I don't think so, because we've seen your Instagram feed. Yeah, this is... And this is I, old you know... <laughs> we've seen Jimmy Olsen. So... So it's a stretch. Don't be getting shot. James, I just wanted, I just, I needed to. <laughs> How are you nerdy? How, how exactly are you nerdy? 
sorry? How exactly are you nerdy? <laughs> you can't cool shame me. I'm, I'm actually a nerd, too. Like, I, I read books and work out. You can do both. <laughs> yes. You can do both. Right. By the way, that's called every woman's dream. All right, much more with the cast of Supergirl when we come right back. We're all aware. <laughs> that was a clip from the new CBS hit, Supergirl, and we're back with cast members Melissa Benoist, Calista Flockhart, and McCod Brooks. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Melissa, you play Supergirl's boss, Kat Grant. You do a great job. She's this hard-driving media mogul type that has no idea that her assistant is a superhero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how, what did you do? How did you figure out how to play the character, and how would you describe your relationship with Supergirl? Um, you know, I, th I think I'm actually still trying to figure it out. I think <laughs> it takes time in television, you know, you, you, you get right in there and then you learn as you go. So I'm still trying to figure it out, but, it, but for the most part, Kat is really bold, she's aggressive, she's unapologetic, mm -hmm. and she just says it like, she just says it like it is, and she's the boss. Mm -hmm. So she's a little bossy. <laughs> <laughs> she's a little bossy and she doesn't really, you know, uh, she's not. She's not that. She's not nice. She just tells it like it is. Yeah. But like she, a yeah. boss. Like yeah. a boss. That's the point. She's a boss. She's a boss. She's a boss. I'm sorry. Kiss off. Kiss off over here. I think that relationship is is actually surprisingly quite maternal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I give really her. Really supportive. Yeah, mm -hmm. supportive, and I kind of give her advice in a sort of backhanded kind of way. And well, she's how we kind of picture Anna Wintour is in mm -hmm. Vogue at Vogue mm -hmm. magazine, kind of like that. She's strong, she's powerful, she means well, but sometimes misunderstood, right? <laughs> right. A little bit. Now, busy. She's busy. busy. Yeah. She's busy. <laughs> there you go. She's busy. Uh, Makad, yes. there is an undeniable attraction mm -hmm. between your character, not Jimmy Olsen, James Olsen, mm -hmm. James, yeah, James. Yeah. and Supergirl. However, uh, uh, James yeah. is good friends with Supergirl's cousin, Superman. Superman. Mm. Right. So, is this a relationship that Superman would approve of? Um, that's a complicated question, and I have a very simple answer. <laughs> <laughs> if your best friend is Superman, there's a bro code that you do not cross. Because, ah. I mean, you can't just move from Metropolis to National City and just hit on his cousin, because you can get heat vision that way. Right. <laughs> Yes. And I don't mean the good kind of heat vision. <laughs> I mean the kind of puts a hole in your heart. <laughs> that would be bad. Hey, I'm so. still rooting for you, but Melissa, <laughs> there's a lot of action in Supergirl, and in tonight's episode, you're kicking a lot of ass. Yeah. So here's my question. Uh, were you a better, are you a better fighter now than you were when you were first cast? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a pacifist in my, like, personal life uh -huh. that it took me a little while to get used to swinging punches at people, <laughs> let alone, like, men that are, like, 6'3 and, and huge like this. But, um... Yeah, in the pilot, I would come home, like, waddling and have to soak in Epsom salts for hours. But right. No, I don't do that. I don't have to do that as much. Oh, I think I'm better. She, oh, she's okay. intimidating. When she puts the suit on, I, I, I mean, I, we've had a couple of scenes where I, we weren't really getting along in the scene. And I'm like, please don't yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big dude. Yeah, it's girl with a backbone. Sure. <laughs> Surrounded by bosses. Yeah. Yeah. Good place. Well, we can't wait for tonight. Yeah. 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 Number one new show. Congratulations, you guys. I love it. Melissa Benoist, Calista Flockhart, and the Brooks, everybody. Supergirl airs tonight at 8 o'clock right here on CBS. Don't go away. When we come back, we've got a giveaway.